Hello everybody and welcome back to East Memories of Celsetta and this is another side quest series. By the way, this may seem a little bit choppy because I may have forgotten to turn on the hardware accelerated capture in the newest version of uh, Bandicam that I have. Uh, well, this is a side quest video so it doesn't matter that much. So we've got a few uh, side quests uh, here and, well, basically everywhere else we've visited. Thankfully, I think there's only one more round of side quests uh, after uh, the one you're going to be seeing here. And after that, it's a straight shot to the end of the game. So first, good luck accessory. Basically, for this accessory, for this side quest, you hand over an accessory that uh, uh, increases the drop rate of something. You can craft these yourself. These aren't unique items, so you can always hand over the least expensive uh, one, which is the silver axe. Boom, done, easy. The other one is a monster hunting quest, and then there's this one where we have to grab a bunch of ingredients. The thing is, this is the point in the game where the uh, side quests start to get pretty diabolical. So I actually uh, wrote down some of the uh, necessary information for these uh, subquests in a little notepad file that I had open while I was playing the game. So he wants ingredients for something he's not allowed to tell us because, I don't know, client confidentiality or some other nonsense like that. Well, it's not what... So as long as we're not, like, getting him his cocaine fix, uh, we're okay with whatever we're doing. Yeah, because Durin has been entirely open about everything up to this point. He hasn't been hiding anything at all. That's quite a list. So, we don't have some of these, but we can exchange for all of them. So, that's exactly what we're going to end up doing. We can get the acetic uh, liquid and the slime mold here, and I really should have exchanged for the bizarre hide because that's another side quest we're going to be doing. And we can exchange for the rest of the stuff uh, in uh, Cell Ray once I remember where that is. There we go. And wouldn't you know it, there's another side quest we can pick up there, too.
Okay, there's the clear liquid we need. Ah, there's the frog extract. I didn't notice that I already had some, so I, uh... Hmm. Oops! Okay, uh, we can get all the flowers we need. We have plenty of marl flowers to exchange for the Upella flowers. Which we exchange for Libra flowers. Yeah, all of these new flowers, uh, aside from the marl, marl flowers, are uh, named after uh, towns in uh, Donabis. It's just a little nod to things that used to be out, because they used all the town names uh, here from uh, Mask of the Sun. So that's all we really need from here. Goodbye, Cursor. You don't belong in this world. Just checking to make sure I had everything, and uh, this is a really long quest list. The only one you can't exchange for is the poisonous organ, I believe. But we should have some. Yeah, because uh, we've been fighting all of these guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, we have 28 of them. We're fine. Ooh, a new weapon test! I guess it will be a choice between the last uh, pair, Kalilika and Freida. for a penny, in for a pounding. Oh, Frida, you do not know the half of it. Okay, I did Kalilika's last time I played through the game. So, Frida, you get to be the guinea pig. Okay, we will not be able to, uh... We will not be able to finish, uh, this... side quest in this video because... they exist in an area that we haven't actually been to yet. Okay, so uh, Kalilika's mace gives her a tremendous defense penalty. So let's see what uh, Frida's uh, experimental hybrid. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So Frida's halberd prevents her from acting at all unless you equip uh, the uh, item that prevents freezing. She just can't attack or do anything with uh, her weapon, which makes it rather difficult for her to beat monsters with it uh, without the immunity uh, tag. Now where's... Uh, this map is too big. Where's Komodo? 
There we go. Okay, no, there's a side quest here, and bear with me because at this point I had actually forgotten that I knew where the uh, Bizarra height exchange thing was. And I can't get the quest from him until I get the quest from the board. There we go. Yeah, expanding the variety of available accessories is kind of totally in essential uh, to making the game not hurt you too much. Yeah, we can, we can get it in Danan, but I had completely forgotten about it, so I'll be wasting a lot of time searching around for it. Even though I completely should have noticed it. Oh well. Yeah, there are actually a couple of Roman soldiers hanging around here too, but and we don't get to kill them like we did in uh, Mask of the Sun. Oh, you can exchange for poisonous organ here. Never mind. Okay, where's Highland? Oh, I missed that memory fragment. I'm gonna have to go get that. Ah, there it is. First, we're going to head back to Danan to finish uh, the uh, elixir quest. Yeah, that's a pretty long list. Most of the stuff you build here only has like three ingredients. So, who's the client and what's up with your drink? We're adventurers, we ask questions.
Oh, is that all? No, it's more the fact that you figured out how to do it, sir. Uh. Wizards. No sense of right and wrong. Weird desert. And Frida already knew. Just, just give us the reward. Oh. 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 Okay, those are permanent stat-up items. Well, now that's done with. right there! How did I miss it? How? How did I miss it? I'm just glad I wasn't streaming this. Well, there are other things we can do. Okay, what's coming up is actually a rather obnoxious side quest. And you will see exactly why once we uh, get there. Ah, there's the flag. So, what do you need us to do, little man? Okay. Okay, so... Well, yeah, those are, like, the least common letters uh, used in the English alphabet, so...
So we need to find people whose names start with those letters. The thing is, there isn't really, like, an NPC file in this game like there is in uh, East 1 and 2. And there are a very large number of NPCs, unlike in other East games. So, if you want to complete this with any kind of speed uh, whatsoever, you pretty much have to have a really strong memory of all of the NPCs you've encountered in the game so far. So, uh, I just looked at a guide and wrote the answers down. I'm not proud. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Q is in one of the item shops around here. Anyway, there's also a quest in this town. There we go. Well, this takes care of Q. We found a person! Wait, wait, you've been practicing writing your autograph? <sighs> Takes all kinds, I guess. No, sir, we're not talking to you. Okay, we need to cure a hungover Pickard. Well, we have a few items we can use. This one is really quick and easy. Wanna check something out, though. Yeah, you don't really need to do any exchanging in here uh, once uh, you're at this point in the game, because you can get everything somewhere else. Well, it cures all status ailments. Wait, you raised it on beer? Um, that's a pretty strong reward. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna leave you to that, um, to your particular relationship.
so while I faff about uh, for a bit, uh, you know, forgetting how to do things. As for uh, other games I've been playing, I've been playing Dark Souls 3. I killed all of the bosses in the intro sequence. And um, that got me thinking about um, uh, Elden Ring, and uh, how the reaction is probably divided somewhat between... Uh, hey, George R.R. R. Martin uh, is worked on a game with uh, Hidetada Miyazaki. Can't wait to see what uh, comes out of that uh, slag pile. And the other reaction beer, Hing, why isn't Mark and Martin working on book six? Ah, it's the Tickle Girl. She's the Z uh, entry in the uh, signature book. Still looking forward to Elden Ring, uh, but uh, I kind of wish Miyazaki was a bit more forthcoming about what the game was actually uh, going to be like, because they say it's going to be a larger game world, so we, he was asked, Hey, so is it an open world? And uh, he... He said, well, it's more of an open field, and well, what does that mean? I swear, sometimes the uh, guy is about as vague and uh, unclear as some of his NPCs. And that's the last name for a uh, signature book. Well, at least Miyazaki isn't as weird about his public appearances as um, uh, Yoko Taro is. But I guess uh, Yoko Taro has a reputation to uphold. Ah, uh, no. Wizards, no sense of right and wrong. And that's it for that. You know, let's grab that memory fragment while we're out here. We are not going to pass on permanent stat ups, even if they only apply to at all. So, yeah. Frida is basically a playable kish girl. She has a bunch of ice moves and, like, uh, uh, dark magic uh, moves. Plus, she has a long reach. Oh! Dogi! Yeah, the thing is... Yeah, and what they're talking about here is the reason Dr. Flair uh, tagged along in uh, East Mask of the Sun. (laughs) 
Yeah, the thing is, uh, Dogi was a uh, tag along for uh, Mask of the Sun uh, and uh, Dawn of East, but in this game, he really only appears in the uh, in uh, memory fragments. Which is unfortunate. Because when you're going into uh, the last leg of the game, uh, Dogi briefly joins you as a helpful NPC and he kills most of the monsters in like two hits. And Frida's Ice Halberd is just trivializing these encounters. Yeah, even though uh, we're going to have to ditch uh, this uh, halberd eventually for the next uh, tier of equipment, there's actually a, an extremely large reward for uh, doing all of the weapon development quests. Salcedon flowers are really rare crafting materials. They're used a lot at the uh, uh, synthesis shop in uh, Denan. That's where they're used to make like the permanent stat-up items and that sort of thing. Okay, so now it's back to Komodo because I finally found the thing I needed. Notepad file is going to be pretty big for the next round of subquests. I'm going to. I'll tell you that much. Why not? Yeah, let's hear you put the uh, hammer and forge to uh, the uh, leather. That's one of the things that always uh, got me in uh, Suikoden. Because when you were sharpening your weapons at the blacksmith, it was always sharpening even when you were like doing it to a hammer. So now we have access, access to the uh, third tier of accessory rings as well as some other stuff. And I'll be making use of that later. For now, we've got to uh, kill some monster. Where should I save? 
Uh, it turns out the game only allows for 300 save files. Ooh, I haven't used all of these middle ones. Yeah, we'll start from there. Yeah, one of them is just, uh, one of Frida's, uh, combat skills is just her throwing her fairy at an enemy. What status ailment is that? Is that, like, curse or something? Well, it's not my problem. Oh, there we go. Hello, Monstar. Hello, Monster and his friends. Well, this is going to be easy enough to deal with. And that's that. So I want to take care of that memory fragment down there. Yeah, I guess I'll start from up here. Can't believe I passed it by. I don't need to fight you. You don't give good experience anymore. I don't think you ever gave good experience. It says I've been down this uh, way before, so I don't know how I missed it. There we go. Ah, more tiny at all. Yeah, they pretty knocked it out of the park with the uh, design for Kid at all. Ah, good. Now 
Now there's a very strong reason that I want all of these stat-ups uh, for Adol, and I'm going to explain that much later. For now though, let's get our uh, monster hunting rewards. Oh yeah, it was real easy. <clears throat> so, uh, that's it for now. Join me next time where we start advancing deeper into the forest. I will be seeing you then, and, uh, goodbye!